Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady Y. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a Thread Up DIY box. Welcome, welcome. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you haven't been here before, my name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple platforms, and we bring everything to you first. We find it a very difficult to get DIY boxes, okay? But I do want to talk about ThreadUp and their rescue boxes. I get comments, and I know other people do because I see it in their comments, uh, in YouTube creators. We, some of us are part-time, some of us are full-time, but it's a job. Um, we spend a lot of time on the thread of website searching for rescue boxes. I know a lot of other people who do the same thing, never see them. I can't tell you how many times a day I check the thread up rescue website. I'm telling you all day not like a couple of hours here or there. It is an all day endeavor. If I have a moment, I'm searching. So that's why you see a lot of YouTubers getting these boxes in my opinion, because we do spend a lot of time searching and um, because we need content and that's what we do um, because thread up boxes are very, very popular. We are constantly searching for them. So I just want to tell you, if you think you were spending a lot of time um, checking the website, they do not put these boxes up at a um, specific time or day. It is all through the day and night. I've seen them as early as 8 o'clock in the morning. I've seen them as late as 1130 at night. So it's not like... Goodwill that puts theirs up on Fridays at 6 p.m. And not only do they do that, they also tell you how many boxes they have. ThreadUp doesn't do that. They do theirs very, very un... Um, not in a timely um, schedule that you can know when they're going to be up. Not only that, but on the jewelry, I have to say... Many a times I see it, I'm on the website. I click into refresh, nothing's there. I refresh again, it's there. I click the button to purchase it. I click the button to pay and it's gone. So I'm talking seconds these boxes sell out. So I just want everybody to know that it's a struggle for everybody. YouTubers are not given a different... Um, amount of boxes. Um, resellers are not given anything special. Um, YouTubers are not given anything special. We just search on these. And I think that's the reason that you see so many YouTubers and resellers getting these boxes is because they do consider it their job and they look a lot. I just wanted to cover that because I have a lot of people asking and I want you to know that if you really want a jewelry box, rescue jewelry box with thread up. It takes commitment. It takes refreshing and time, but you'll get one. We all do. We eventually see them. So this is a DIY. It was $48. They do charge $9.99 shipping and tax. Um, I'm not sure when, um, if I got any discounts or anything and the discounts are, we get points and they give you, you cash in your points for um, um, uh, $20. 400 points, I think, is $20. And um, this one was just purchased on November 17th. So it's from Phoenix, Arizona. All right, let me open this box and sh show you without hitting the camera, which is not that easy. <laughs> um, no, I'm not coordinated. Um, but I will tell you, um, 
shipping is five dollars in the United States, under a pound, anything over a pound or outside the United States is based on where you're located. Um, if you see something you're interested in, you simply send us an email to one shadyy at gmail.com. We'll send you a PayPal invoice in your email to us. Just send us um, a timestamp and a description of what you're interested in. If you haven't purchased from us before, send us your mailing address. If you look below in the description area, push the more and it'll give you all of this information in writing. All right, let's pull this out. Okay. Um, hopefully we have something good. I don't see anything yet, but this is a lot of stuff. And let's just find the opening. Well, let's open right here. All right, let's just turn it around and let's see some jewelry. What the heck is a, this one? Hopefully we don't have too many tangles. Y'all know I'm not good at tangles. All right, let's put earrings over to the side. Not seem to have a name. I'm surprised. That is humongous, okay? So this is um, acrylic and then it has this gold toggle class. It is graduated thankfully let's see how much how long this is so it is a toggle clasp and a rose gold it looks like it's in good condition but i'm just gonna it's 18 inches but this acrylic piece is a whopping two and three fourths of an inch isn't that fabulous i think it's pretty fabulous um so on this one i'm gonna say Let's just do $5, um, even though it's really a cool piece. We have a box. Uh, let's see. It says Court Mar Marina. Um, there's nothing there. Oh, we just get a box. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe we'll find a piece that was supposed to go in here, but nothing in there right now. We'll put that over to the side. Okay, this is all together. It's tied with a ribbon. Um, let's see if there's any name. I don't see anything, but it is pretty. It is all stretch, and you've got one, two, three, four, five. Um, bracelets all stretch all tied together with the ribbon um in good condition so i'm gonna say five dollars for the five bracelets um, this one is broken however it might be an easy fix um well that's bent so that's easy enough let me see if it's all here It does go like that. And then look at this one. Okay, I'm gonna put this over to the side and at the end we will fix this and then we'll get us a price on this. But I love the colors, beautiful. So this is a pretty easy fix. It is just simply one of the rings have um, come undone. Um, this is um, called neon crystal I believe it is it um is priced all over the place online I saw it from $51 to um 300 so it's like 300 um maybe when it was new because it's heavy duty just beautiful there it is that's all it took. It was just a simple ring had gotten pulled, probably when they were trying to separate it. But this is beautiful with the neon and the blue, green. Um, thankfully, nothing's missing. I love this really heavy book chain with the antiqued um, tone. It is... 
Let's do it from there. It is 18 inches with a two and a quarter inch extension. And on this one, I'm gonna say, um, let's do $30. It is sweet. We have a uh, pepperacci. It's a heart. It's supposed to look like faux halite, um, but that's going to be a dollar. Then we have a pair of earrings. Let's see, what do we have here? It says Fiesta. Those are actually kind of cool. It's called the Monogram Shop, and they were originally... Um, $26.99 beaded fiesta earrings. Those are actually really pretty. Um, I love all the colors. Let's give you a size. It is about three and a quarter inch, and at the widest, about one and a quarter. So, on these, um, I love these. So, 26. So, let's do 13 on these. Love those. Put, as I said, earrings over to the side. Here we have an LOL. Uh, what is that? Oh, um, joy, which is jewelry, right? Um, let's see. Is this really festive? These are little hearts. And if you are of age, <laughs> um, it looks like um, the Partridge family, um, little partridges. And then these are little enamel teardrops and graduated um, black. And it says LOL. Um, looks like about 18 inches. So I'm going to say let's just do $3 on that one. I love that one. I love the colors that we're getting in these. All right, we have a little um, knot right there. Um, let's see if this says anything. I don't see anything, but this is pretty. Um, this is like leather. It looks like it needs to be conditioned. These are antiqued and these are wood. And um, it has an extension, so let's see. Without the extension, it looks like it's about 16 inches with an inch and a half extension. Um, but pretty cool, I'm gonna say. Let's just do um, $2 on that one. We have another paparazzi with these huge tassels, and I'm just gonna say a dollar. Here we have a stretch bracelet um, with um, Oh, looks like W's, but Chevron's, I think Chevron is just the V, um, but it's silver tone, so I'm just going to say $2 on that one. These are matches, and they say Stella and Dot. Uh, this one's broke um let's see if we find this base if not um we'll figure that out this one another pepperazzi orange a dollar i think i said pepperazzi it's actually a paparazzi Okay, this one, huge lobster clasp with an extension with a tassel. However, I think it is broke. Yeah, one of the um, mesh links on here is broke. So this one's just gonna be a dollar. Um, otherwise, it was gonna be really cool with this braided um, mesh. So just a dollar for that one. Uh, let's see. 
here we have silver tone. There's a mark right here. Let's see if I can see what it says. It does say 925, but let's test it. Over the weekend, I cut all my fingernails because I broke a couple, so all of them has to start over. <sighs> all right, let's see, first off, if there's any missing rhinestones. Let's turn on the jump tester while we're at it. Okay, no missing rhinestones. So now we're going to test it. The pendant, the chain, and the clasp. I don't see anything happening. I do have a white stone, but I don't have it in front of me right now. So let's just. Test it with the silver test acid. It doesn't look like it's coming up blue. So I think this is going to be a faker. So you give it a minute. You um, take a tissue or a Q-tip and go over where it was. And then the acid will dry. And then it will leave a color on your Q-tip. And um, there is just a black. So that tells us that it's not sterling. It's going to be um, other metals, um, but this is a faker, but it's a pretty faker. <laughs> and this one is just um, cubic zirconia. Um, it is marked 925. I do believe it could be 925 um, just with a um, coating on it. Um, however, very, very pretty. The chain is, let me go out a little. The chain is 16 inches with an inch and three fourths of an um, extension. It does have additional um, cubic zirconias up here, all in here and dangle down here. And on this one, I'm just going to say, let's do $12 but very sweet piece. Okay, here we have some floral earrings um, in the leather. I'm gonna say a dollar on those, the teardrops. Let's see, this one is a J. Crew. Wasn't that interesting? So it's a nautical rope that's twisted and then let's see we should be right here let's see if there's any missing rhinestones or faux pearls yes there's a missing rhinestone right here so this is just going to be a dollar um we're having a lot of um damaged jewelry in this one but it is DIY so that's what it's supposed to be all right this one's loft it is silver tone but there is some um silver tone loss and these discs and then some white actually it's green and it looks like some of the coloring is coming off and this is a double strand it's 34 inches and since some of the coloring is coming off, I'm just going to say a dollar on the loft. Okay. 
So here we have just a, a braided um, gold tone bracelet. It is adjustable and it is two inches wide and I'm just gonna say a dollar on that one. And then, let's see. Okay, we have one of those clasp that connect things together and we have three different um, faux pearls. And then these are black wood and they are all the same length. And they're about 34 inches and I'm just gonna say a dollar on those. Then we have these rice pearls, definitely real. Um, the clasp um, looks like it's discolored. It is not marked, but it is a fish hook, which you just hook it in the end and slide in but these are real um rice pearls with um onyx beads and i'm gonna guess let's see they are not magnetic but considering the clasp is not gold i'm gonna guess these aren't either let's see if i can them to scratch. No, I cannot get them scratch. Well, let's see if I get these. No, I can't. So I'm just going to say they're gold tone. It is... 20 inches and I am just going to say $5 for the rice pearls. Then we have this. These are faceted silver um, beads with um, tied in between a long strand. The string is like a light blue and it is 46 inches. And I'm just going to say, these are beautiful. I'm going to say, let's do just $4 for those. We have this chain that has two um, lobster class. So that says that this was probably part of something else. But it is a long chain gold tone. Um, 48 inches. I'm just gonna say $2. Then we have a bar with a lobster clasp. No markings. I'm very pretty. It is 18 inches with a three inch extension. It is magnetic, and I'm just gonna say, let's do, let's do $3. And we have this one. It's a bracelet. Let's see if we can see a name anywhere. Let me look closer. Um, it's very pretty. Um, Gold tone, very pretty. I'm gonna say it's cubic zirconia, but check out this um, center one is definitely quartz. Check that out with the lines in it. Let me see if you can see it. 
see it? Like the needles. I mean, these are beautiful. So um, it's nine to five. I'm gonna do a little research on this. This is a beautiful bracelet. It is um, marked 925 Vermeil because um, it's gold tone. Um, the center stone is a uh, torminated, torminated, that's a hard word, torminated quartz. I butchered that. I believe the stones around it are um, gemstones. Um, they keep coming up diamond and then um, they're tiny so you just slip off. These I think are cubic zirconia and also on the clasp. It is seven and a quarter inch but um, it is a, a beautiful um, bracelet. It is just sweet as could be. Didn't you love that close-up of my hand? Not really. <laughs> Sorry about that, um, but it is a, a beautiful uh, bracelet. And on this one, I'm going, I uh, wanted to show you the stripes and the quartz, just stunning. Wish I could get that to come through a little better. Let's see. Yeah, you can see them, but it's gorgeous. So on this one, I'm going to say $30. Okay, we got some more paparazzi, so that's a dollar. We got something big here. <laughs> uh -oh, let's see. Got something missing right here. Got a knot. Something missing right here. So this is just going to be a dollar for this. This one is series DIY. This is, uh, what does this say? This says Tom something. Tom Benz made in USA. Okay, these are fabulous. I did research Tom Ben. He's originally from Ireland, has um, mainly uh, been in business for about 40 years. He um, made jewelry for Mo uh, Michelle Obama. Um, stunning pieces. This earrings were originally $325. He is a high-end designer. Um, he originally started by um, making or recrafting jewelry from rhinestone jewelry and things like that. And then he got into uh, commercial and now he is back into um, redesigning or recreating jewelry. Um, but these are fabulous, perfect. Um, size and weight they're not crazy heavy but they're nice and weighted two and three fourths of an inch by an inch and um, I'm going to do $40 on these because they are stunners beautiful here we have gold tone lots of scratches um, the chevrons in um, copper, brass, and silver tone. It is 18 inches with an inch and a half extension. And I'm just going to say $2 and it needs to be cleaned up. We have some more paparazzi. That's going to be a dollar. Another one. It's a bracelet. It says dream out loud and that's a dollar here's another pair of these for a dollar we have a shell necklace that is 34 inches and that's going to be a dollar we have a faux 
um, enamel H bracelet, um, a lot of missing um, tone. So that's a dollar. We have for Alex and Ani 2014 with an N. That's a dollar. We have, what is that? Hmm. Alex and Annie 2013. And I am not sure. Oh, maybe a leprechaun? So that's a dollar, silver tone. Now these are, um, oh, that's pretty. This one's gold tone with green beads. And this is the, um, doesn't say, but this is green beads, gold tone. I'm going to say $3 on that one. And these beautiful glass ones in silver tone, I'm going to say $3 on that one. We have, hmm, isn't that interesting? We have a dirty word. <laughs> Let me try to straighten it out. There's the dirty word. And I'm going to see if it's um, gold or it is not, it's brassy. So that's gonna be $5. It is adjustable and it is right now a size 10. And there's your word. So $5. Here is this match. These are clip-ons and they do say Kenneth Lane. Um, let's pull that one off. Really, really good condition. Um, Kenneth Lane. There's a little discoloration right there. These have to be at least four inches. Graduated gold tone. Three and three-fourths of an inch Kenneth Lane um, string balls. And I'm going to say $5. Okay, so this was three strands, um, and this was broken. So this is gold tone, three strands. You've got an anchor chain, a um, flat lay chain, and then this tube chain. You've got a disc and... A little um, cubic zirconia. The shortest one is really short. It is only 12 inches, 3 inch extension, and the longest one is 16 inches. And I'm going to say $5 because that one's a really pretty. And this one is broke. And um, I don't know what it said, but that one's broke, so that one's a dollar. We have another um, shell necklace. This one says handmade in the Philippines, and it goes like so. It is uh, 36 inches, and I'm gonna say just a dollar on that one. Here we have a paparazzi um, heart, red heart ring. That's going to be a dollar. That is the Eiffel Tower with um, marcasites. Let's see if it's marked. It is on the bottom. It says... 
Silver Unlimited. And it's an Eiffel Tower. It is Sterling Silver. There's our blue. And I'm going to say let's do 15 for that one. Pearl clasp. These are gorgeous. Look at these red banded agate, I think. And then chips. All right, let's turn the Presidium back on. We have more um, paparazzi. Those are pretty. Those are a dollar. More paparazzi. This one's called Fantastically Deco Black Necklace. Paparazzi. Dollar. A whole bunch of paparazzi. A dollar. Some pineapple. So this one's chains and a pineapple, so it's a necklace and earrings, so a dollar. These say MK. I'll test those. Made well. We'll show those in a minute. Paparazzi, um, a dollar. a dollar be sure to give me descriptions of these otherwise I won't know what they are this one says going Dior to Dior white earrings and it looks like it's um, balls and tassel more flowers a dollar um, This one says Dream Treehouse Copper Earrings, so a dollar. This one says Millionaire Debonair Black Earrings, a dollar. And we'll look at those. All right, let's scoot all that over. Let's test what this says. Yeah, they're banded agate. These are gorgeous. They are the color of, um, always happens, never fails. <laughs> if I wear um, a carnelian, we get something carnelian. So fabulous. Um, carnelian is an agate. Um, beautiful, beautiful piece. Love this. This is fabulous. This is a barrel class, as I said. It is 24 inches and cold as ice. I'm going to say let's do $50. Okay, let's see what this one is. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Okay, it's pretty. We have nothing missing. It's a Y necklace in like a red burgundy color. Gold tone lobster clasp, no name, not including the extension of about two inches. It is 24 inches with a four and a quarter inch drop. And I'm just gonna do $5 on that one. Okay, let's 
see what else we have. Okay, so this says fashion jewelry, and it is a cross and a um, infinity. So this is super light, so I'm just gonna say a dollar. We have a name, Express. <laughs> and this, let's see if there's any missing rhinestones. Oh, really nice. So it has these spikes and rhinestones um, silver tone. It is by Express uh, lobster class. I'm gonna say 19 inches plus a three inch extension. So I'm just gonna say four dollars for the Express. Um, this is a um, pendant. Let's see if there's any missing rhinestones. I don't see any. There's no name. It is two inches, only two inches, and I'm gonna say $4 on that one. We have a rhinestone necklace with a silver tone lobster clasp. And No missing rhinestones, but a super long um, extension. It is 16 inches with a five inch extension. I mean, it's 16 inches with a five inch extension. And I'm just gonna say $3 on the rhinestone necklace. All right, we have Madewell. These are titanium post, and it says that they were originally $20. So they're just little gold hoops with little um, uh, crystals. So on this one, I'm gonna say, let's do um, $6. And it's new on card, so this is a good gift. Didn't find anything for that, so just an empty box. Now this one looks like Michael Kors, but let's see if they're real. Okay, the earring itself is not marked. I don't see any marking on that one. They are not magnetic. Let's see if they're Awful co coppery. They are not sterling. So they're just gold tone Michael Kors earrings. Or let me rephrase that, MK. I'm gonna assume that's the Michael Kors logo. Um, they're not marked, so I'm just gonna say, let's do uh, $4. Let's put them back in the bag.
these match. I don't know what they're supposed to be. <laughs> um, hmm. Gold tone. I don't see a mark anywhere. They are slightly magnetic. Um, as I said, gold tone wires from the top of the wire. It is about two and a quarter inch by two inches. And I'm just gonna say $4 for those. Let's see, these match. They're silver tone. I don't see any um, marks on them, but I could be missing it. They are not magnetic. Uh, let's test them real quick. What did I do with that stone? I don't know what I just did with my, oh, right here. Hello. These are sterling. There's our blue. Yay. And they're free form, pretty. They are two and three fourths of an inch by an inch and five eighths. And um, that's how they would hang like so. That's from the side. These are nice and um, a good weight to them. And I'm gonna say, let's do $10. Let's see. These look like J. Crew, but they're not marked. So I'm just gonna say let's do um, let's do three dollars for these. Oh, let's see if these are marked. These say Oscar De La Rente, and they need to be cleaned. Um, they are faux pearl, but they have a little bit of green on them, so I'm gonna put them in a bag. But um, a good name, if you clean these up, these are gonna be beautiful. So I'm gonna say, let's do, let's do $5 for the Oscar De La Rente. Delorenta, whatever. <laughs> I knew somebody was going to kill me on my pronunciation. But those are pretty. Okay, here's another piece of that metal um, chain that's broke. Here are these. Who are these? These are Stella and Dot, and they are the string and wood. They look like um, acorns. Uh, these are really pretty with this really sweet pink. They are three inches by, um, I'm gonna say three quarters an inch. I'm gonna say $3 for those. Um, let's see, these match. That's the one good thing about these DIY boxes is they generally do have matching earrings. Um, I just gotta find um, the top of this. Hmm. Um, I will fix these if anybody's interested. 
and I'm gonna say three dollars and I'll put um, uh, wires on them let's see if these match Okay, these I believe go together. Let's see if anything's missing. Doesn't look like it. So I believe these are the earrings, okay? And then you can add these to the bag. Of your ear, like, Here's your earlobe here. And these go right onto the back of your ear. And these hang down behind, or you can put them right next to it. And they hang like so. But it's like, to give you kind of a 3D effect of this and then this in the background. Um, this part is fabulous. But I'm gonna put these all together. They are, um, I'm gonna put them in a bag and I'm gonna say five dollars for both of the pieces and they're like just little rhinestones but they're cute these match and they are signed Stella and dot these are cute um, little um, silver tone with white, gold, and blue um, seed beads, and then these little dangles on the front. They are one and seven eighths of an inch by seven eighths of an inch, and I'm gonna say three dollars on those. Those are cute. Let's see. Okay, that's kind of freaky. It's like a bird skeleton. Um, let's see if we have anything like that. We do not. Let me see if it's magnetic. It is not. I believe it's starting to fade. So it's just gold tone. But it's like a bird skeleton. Isn't that interesting? It's a pretty big size too. It is one inch by half inch. And I'm gonna say, I don't see a name anywhere. But I'm gonna say, let's do $5 because it's interesting. Then we have these, these are signed. It says, Jennifer Fisher. Okay, these Jennifer Fisher earrings are amazing. They sold on the Real Real for $175. Um, they were originally $325. Um, they were originally priced on the real roll for $325. They are 14 karat yellow gold brass plated, or let me restate that. They are 14 karat gold plated brass. And um, they have the abstract unicorn, which is a huge um, theme on her um, website. Um, it's just the outline. And it is, let's see, signed. It is 31.7 grams. So if these don't sell, I will send these into the real real. 
and I'm going to say let's do $55 crazy but um amazed that the um two pairs of earrings were uh designers these uh let's see if I can fix these well there's not a lot to fix right there bam done <laughs> So these are Stella and Dot also. I love this color. And it is just um, tassels. They are two and three fourths of an inch by about an inch. And you can take the tassel off in the back because it's just on a little hook. And um, I'll put um, silicone backs on these. And I'm gonna say, let's do uh, $5 for those. Then we have these. Let's see what, there's a name on these. These are um, marked. And they say 925 Italy. By Han, H A N. Um, those are nice. Definitely a nice sterling pair. They are um, graduated disc two and three fourths of an inch, and at the widest, three fourths of an inch. I'm gonna say $12 on those. These are Bobble Bar. Oh, those are pretty. They're little rhinestone circles. Um, really sweet, gold tone. They are one inch by a three fourths of an inch, and I'm gonna say three dollars for those. Um, we have these little speckledy balls, and they are magnetic, and I'm just gonna say two dollars for those. Then we have Oh, these, I found the um, the part to that, so I'll fix that one earring. This is just a screw and earring that is clip-on. Looks like something is missing from the dangle, but it's just um, stars that dangle. And three of the rhinestones are missing right there. So I'm gonna say a dollar for that, because that could be redone made really cute. This one is marked. It says just an N. It is magnetic and it's rhinestones. So that's gonna be a dollar. And I have no clue what this is. No name. Magnetic. I'm just gonna say a dollar. Oh, and these I didn't do. So these are, they look like they're not open. Oh, I can open them here. Cause otherwise we will not be able to see these. They're like, that's cool. It's a white Mandela. Isn't that pretty? Um, there's two of them in here. It just says... It might be Sheen. I'm not real sure. Um, but I'm just going to say um, $2 for the white Mandela. And I will, by the time we finish this video, 
all these questions will be answered what these pieces are and I will repair this one. So what did you think? This had a lot of um, broken jewelry, which it is a DIY, which we're supposed to expect that to a certain extent. Um, I didn't think it was horrible. It did have some gemstones. It did have some sterling. So all's good. I'm glad I got it. Glad to got to see some and hope everybody is having a wonderful day. If you saw anything that interests you, just send us an email to one shadyy at gmail.com. Hope everybody has um, a wonderful week and we will see you on the next one.